once we have the proof that redemption is possible, this whole hotel will be full of demons wanting to check out into heaven. In the aftermath of Charlie's failed meeting with the angels in Welcome to Heaven, she has to make a tough call to protect her home and her newfound family. Alistair has withheld information about Carmilla and the exorcist she killed, waiting for the right opportunity to use it to his advantage. Once he realizes how desperate Charlie is to protect the Hasbun Hotel, he offers to give her precious information in return for a favor. Despite the warnings Vaggie and the others had given about Alistair throughout the season, Charlie finds herself without a choice, agreeing to the deal. Charlie consents to giving Alistair a single favor that won't require her to hurt someone else, and he reveals Carmilla's secret. Unfortunately, Charlie's condition is vague enough that Alistair can make the Princess of Hell do almost anything. By the finale, Lucifer has no idea that Charlie has made a deal with such a prolific overlord. In today's video, we'll discuss the potential consequences of Lucifer discovering the truth in Season 2. And you are? Alistair! Pleasure to be meeting you, sir. Quite a pleasure. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. Number 1. He Confronts Charlie Although Lucifer and Charlie rebuild the relationship in Dad Beat Dad, they still have a long way to go before they learn who the other is as an adult. They spend so much time estranged that they may not understand how one another would respond to challenging situations. In the same way that Charlie disapproves of Lucifer condemning sinners to extermination, Lucifer may struggle to accept why Charlie would make a deal with a powerful demon like Alistair. He may also question his daughter's choices, acting more like an overbearing father than a confidant or advisor. Charlie has only recently reconnected with Lucifer, so she may not like how he questions her leadership. As she pointed out in Dad Beat Dad, Alistair was willing to help her achieve her goals when Lucifer wasn't. After Charlie returned, home from meeting with the angels, she was defeated, unsure of how to proceed. She's so distraught that she can't get out of bed or keep from crying. As a viewer, it seemed like the perfect time for her father to swoop in and lend a helping hand. However, Lucifer wasn't informed of Charlie's problem, leaving the floor open for Alistair to take advantage of the situation. Due to Charlie trusting Alistair, he may turn the confrontation between Lucifer and Charlie to his advantage. He could twist the narrative, manipulating Charlie into believing he has better intentions for her than Lucifer. Since their relationship is new, Lucifer confronting Charlie, especially with Alistair close enough to intervene, could cause tension in the hotel. Since many characters like Vaggie and Husk dislike Alistair, the other residents may engage in infighting. Who is this man? Are you the bellhop? Ha <laughs> ha! No! I am the host of the hotel. You might have heard of me from my radio broadcast. Number two, he leaves the hotel. If Charlie and Lucifer can't resolve their differences civilly, there's a significant chance that he may need to leave the hotel. At the end of The Show Must Go On, Lucifer helps Charlie rebuild the destroyed hotel, and with the help of her friends, they make the establishment bigger and better than before. One of the hotel's newest additions includes a side tower in the shape of an apple, insinuating that Lucifer will maintain an office there and become a supporting character in the second season. From Lucifer's reaction when Charlie calls him in Dad Beat Dad, he wants to be a part of her life. However, he's unwilling to force himself within it if he isn't welcome. After all, he stayed away for years because he didn't think she needed him. Unwilling to infringe on his daughter's life, home, and happiness, Lucifer could depart from the hotel. Despite knowing the extermination was coming early, he arrives late to the hotel's fight against Adam. As the ruler of hell, Lucifer may keep a busy schedule. In Dad Beat Dad, it seems like he's lived as a shut-in desperate to find his creative spark again. However, he still keeps in contact with heaven and likely handles political issues regarding the higher demons in hell. Six other rings in hell go unexplored and has been hotel that Lucifer could spend his time visiting. While Lucifer may have many responsibilities to keep his mind off Charlie and the Hasbun Hotel, his departure could allow for a subplot exploring his conflicted feelings about being a father, the king of hell, and how the two roles collide. He may overcome his fears about overstepping in Charlie's life, especially if he discovers Alistair is up to no good. To protect his daughter and ensure a greater evil doesn't prevail in his kingdom, Lucifer leaving the hotel may give him the shove he needs to become a better parent and ruler. Okay, I can get you the meeting, but once you're in heaven, I won't be able to go with you. Number 3. He nullifies the deal. As a former archangel and the current king of hell, Lucifer has significant power at his fingertips. In the first season, we witness him make a meeting with heaven and strike down Adam with ease. He maintains his ability to fly with six wings and creates images using sorcery. There's a range to his capabilities, and as the overarching leader of the Seven Realms, he'll need to exercise his power to maintain order. As most of hell exists for sinners and demons who have no regard for the rules, it's hard to determine hell's policies toward lawmaking or holding others accountable for their actions. In Overture, Charlie accredits 
associates Lilith with making Hell into a proper society. In contrast, it seems like Lucifer struggles to adapt to his new life, becoming more withdrawn from Hell and his life within it as time goes on. However, Lucifer may have put more time into Hell when he first fell, trying to shape the new realm to share similarities with his former home in Heaven. We know from Welcome to Heaven that the Seraphim handle complex situations by taking them to trial, where they can discuss solutions with their fellow angels. Lucifer may have a similar system to help keep Hell from falling apart in times of trouble. Instead of meeting with a council of angels, he could have regular meetings with the high-ranking demons known as the Seven Deadly Sins. Together, they can make rules or regulations for each ring of Hell. They may also discuss problems brought to their attention by other demons, like overzealous deals or impractical behavior. However, like Sarah, who has the final say about court decisions, Lucifer could nullify Charlie and Alistair's deal. Never allowing him to see the good that came from humanity, only the cruel and the wicked. Number 4. He Duels Alistair Unfortunately for Charlie, Alistair and Lucifer begin a feud early on. In Dad Beat Dad, the two men compete for Charlie's trust, implying that she views them as father figures. Since Lucifer has spent so much time away from his daughter, he seems jealous and enraged by the prospect of Charlie replacing him with someone else. Meanwhile, Alistair doesn't desire to be fatherly, yet he wants to remain a close confidant for Charlie to persuade her decisions. In Dad Beat Dad, their conflict of interests leads to a musical duel where they try to one-up one another, proving to Charlie why they're essential in her life. The feud between Lucifer and Alistair never resolves itself. Instead, they're interrupted by Alistair's old friend Mimsy, forcing them to drop their argument and return to it another time. However, Alistair seems more welcoming toward Lucifer once he agrees to help Charlie achieve her goals. With the father and daughter lovingly reunited, Alistair may struggle to put himself between them. He can't influence Charlie's decision if Lucifer is always nearby, keeping a close eye on his child's well-being. However, if he remains on Charlie's good side, he could turn a battle between himself and Lucifer in his favor. Although initially unfamiliar with Alistair and his reputation, Lucifer may have investigated the radio demon further after their first encounter. If he familiarized himself with everything Alistair is capable of, he could try to break Charlie from her deal by confronting Alistair in battle. The two men are formidable figures in their own rights, with individual powers and skill sets. Although they could each stand against lesser demons, Lucifer defeats Adam in the show must go on, while Alistair flees after receiving a wound. Therefore, if Lucifer and Alistair were to duel, it's likely that Lucifer would win. However, protecting his daughter could backfire, especially if Alistair tries painting him in a negative light. As much as I'd love to catch up, Charlie and I have a tour to continue. As two of Hell's most powerful and influential residents, Lucifer and Alistair have many reasons to dislike one another. Unfortunately, their unique relationships with Charlie provide the perfect opportunity to maintain vendettas against one another. Now that he's entered Charlie's life, Lucifer will likely do anything to keep his daughter safe. He may throw caution to the wind to defeat Alistair, a task no other overlord has succeeded in before. To keep Charlie safe and on the right path, Lucifer may find himself confronting Alistair or the entity in control of him in the second season, doing anything to prove his capabilities as a caring father. Dad, stop! He's defending this hotel! It may be a bit more sadistic than I'd hoped, but he's doing it for me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. I'm sure Charlie can handle showing me around. Oh, nonsense! We started the hotel together, and we'll show it off together. Right, Charlie?